3D trigonometry. So here we're just going to apply our knowledge of right angle triangles to work out problems that are actually three dimensional. And these can be difficult to visualize, so sometimes splitting them up into their own separate triangles is very helpful. So let's draw our, our diagram. So Remember, this is in three dimensions where we've got three right angle triangles. These two are upright, and you can imagine this one lying flat on the ground with these two being upright standing up. Let's label some points so D, A, B, C. We know BC is 2,000 metres. The angle of elevation here is 15, and the angle of elevation here is 13, because remember, these are coming off the ground, and this height is H. And we're after the height H. And to do this, we just need to develop a, quite a few equations and then uh, combine everything we know. So, First of all, we're going to use our two standing up triangles off the ground and just apply our normal tan ratio. So tan 15 is going to equal the opposite side, which is H, over the adjacent side, which is AB. And in the other upright triangle, we can go tan 13 is going to equal the opposite side H over the adjacent side, which is AC. So if we make AB the subject, here we'll get H over tan 15. And if we make AC the subject, we'll get AC equals H over tan 13. Now in the triangle on the bottom here, we can apply Pythagoras. And if we write an equation for Pythagoras, we'll get AC squared equals AB squared plus 2,000 squared because our right angle our right angles here in this triangle so that's the hypotenuse so that's why AC is squared and we have expressions for AB and AC now which we can sub in to our Pythagoras equation so AC is just H over tan 13 and that's all squared AB is just H over tan 15 and that's all squared and 2,000 squared gives us 4 million. So let's square these fractions. So we square the numerator and square the denominator. So we get tan squared 13. So whenever we square a trig function, we write the squared in between the function and the degrees. Equals h squared over tan squared 15 plus 4 million. Now we just need to solve for H. So let's bring our H's together. So we'll get H squared over 10 squared 13 minus H squared over 10 squared 15 equals 4 million. So we just move this fraction to this side. We can factorize out the H squared. So we're left with 1 over tan squared 13 minus 1 over tan squared 15 equals 4 million. Divide both sides by the bracket. So we get h squared equals 4 million over 1 over tan squared 13 minus 1 over tan squared 15. To solve for h, we're just going to square root both sides. So the square and the square root cancel out, and everything on the right can go in the calculator, and you'll get 909.7 meters to one decimal place. Mm -hmm.